Of it's pre-season, but a lot of encouraging things tonight. Yeah, uh, excellent, excellent workout. I know that, that people think it was a, you know, a walk in the park, looking at the score, but we got we got a lot from it. Thought you know positive signs. De obviously, definitely not getting carried away, but some positive signs the way we played and taking information on board and and the cohesion amongst the players and what and what we're looking for. So yeah, pl pleasing night's work, pleasing day's work. But obviously, we trained trained this morning. Got. A, you know, a light session, we've got some good work sharpness in and then a good 45 minutes and they've hit the targets, what you're looking for in distances. And then in terms of performance on a, you know, all respect on a, on a tricky pitch, I thought the quality was really good. I know you wanted tempo right from the off and we certainly got that. Yeah, like we say, we moved the ball well. Um, what, what the gaffer worked on yesterday and what we've been asking of them in training, I thought we were saying glimpses of it. Like I said, we're not getting carried away with some really pleasing signs and really couldn't ask, you know, ask any more for, more from them from tonight. And it's been a really positive week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's been really positive, so hopefully we're going in the right direction. Definitely not getting carried away at all, but no please if this week's work and pre-season's work so far. It doesn't matter who against or when it is, if your strikers get goals, it gives them confidence. Yeah, it's where they got and worked it well and the, and the movement. You know, you can see some link-ups between certain individuals, which is which shows a good understanding already. That obviously comes from training, but obviously the quality of play that, you know, hopefully we've got. Um, so, yeah, no, right, please, we've got to accept peace, which is always pleasing. Didn't concede, I know that Gabe's, when, when called upon, you know, made an excellent save and it's nice to get a clean sheet and that's pleasing for, for Gabes and Jez because they, they worked on that you know watched them do that the other day so that's good that obviously Gabes is taking that on board so yeah lots of positive signs and in terms of fitness levels pleasing I don't think we've got any knocks I think the, ma the main thing from tonight was not picking any injuries up and uh, touching wood I don't think we have so that, that's another pleasing aspect to come from tonight's work. Breeze, Carr, Ballardo, Nugent, I don't think I've missed anybody, second year scholars. What does this mean for them and what are they learning from playing with the, the, the first team players? Well, they add to it an energy, a passion, wanting to play for the club, that, that's obvious. But, you know, a good enthusiasm and they've trained, trained with us, you know, from the start, um, especially Carr and Ballardo and, and Kai at times and Potty and that, and it's good. Cause, so they see a pathway, um, it, they bring an energy to it, like I say, and, and I don't and honesty to it as well. It is early in pre-season for them lads but are they giving you something to think about in terms of perhaps there's, there's a backup in the squad there as well? It's a long way the, the young boys but that, that, that's you know no disrespect that's a long way from. hopefully one or two can put themselves in, in the pitch or whatever but you often find it pre-season young lads get opportunities and, and they're doing themselves no harm for their longer future but in terms of bodies we know that we need probably more experienced players we know they they can challenge and, and they're doing well and hopefully one or two come through and, and play but no we're not getting carried away in terms of we still know where we need to go to in terms of the bodies and squads and players I have to ask you about the players that aren't yeah. here the likes of Charters and, and Patrick some of it sparks internet rumours what can you say about those players they've got slight injuries we don't expect them to be out long term at all and it's funny a couple of people said things about certain players and it's like oh wow but I suppose and I was on whatever I'm, I've always said not on social media, so it's always uh, interesting. I suppose anybody can put anything on, but as far as I'm aware and, and the man's aware, there's, there's nothing at all in them rumours. Ben and Sonny get their first chance to get a run out, and it's nice to see them con not just contributing but looking like they fit in as well. Yeah, pleased with them. It's nice for Sonny. Obviously, very talented football. Get a, to score a goal is good for his confidence. And, and Ben, I was pleased with him in the warm up, his, his communication, talking, you know, leadership skills, which obviously you want in any squad, and it's always good if you can get a bit of. Um, leadership in it and even listening to him in the warm up and bits in training you know he's just bending himself in because he's only been there a couple of days but in terms of you know understanding of the game and, and demands I think he'll add to that with his uh, with his personality. Fitness wise where are we at in terms of you being happy with the squad at this stage of the season? No pleased uh, it's been really hard it has been tough for them and obviously like any footballer you know I was one myself you're always mourning and you're tired and this and that but no we're, we're pleased we have worked them hard not no, no shame in that and we're not going to apologise for that we've got certain targets we want to hit each day certain targets we want to hit in a week and they will be tired they will be stiff but they've trained really hard this week in terms of demands in terms of 11 v 11 on Monday then shorter yesterday uh, uh, yesterday, and I didn't think they looked tired tonight which, which is pleasing after after training this morning Last one from me step up again no disrespect to Kendall on Saturday against Workington that'll be another edge to the game Yeah definitely you know it'd be good to come up against you know no mate Danny and an old club work and so yeah another step up and a progression and we, we know that'll be a really stiff challenge you know I know they played well on Saturday against Blackburn didn't get a report how they went last night but yeah it'll always be 
um, you know, a fiercely contested game. Yeah, thanks for your time.